Well, one of the communities that we work and live with is our workspace. Yeah. And we have now strong sexual harassment laws. Yes. But it's important for a woman to feel comfortable enough to come forward and report something. So even within the organization that you run and for everybody else who's watching, how yeah. important is it to create a secure environment for women to come forward, to talk about these things, to report these things? It's critical. Happen? It's critical. And uh, I think uh, many of us uh, had these policies in place even before the Vishaka Committee norms, etc. happened. Uh, but having an independent committee with an independent outsider, uh, I think quite important. Uh, it is key. And I think uh, the way we respond to these complaints, which are taken very, very seriously, uh, others are watching to see how that happens, becomes very important. Uh, I should state that, you know, there are people, both men and women, who have told me that they are worried that by going overboard uh, that it can also impact on women being hired, as in not hired. Uh, our organization is going to get scared to hire. And that would be a shame. So I think like with anything, there has to be balance. Uh, we can't go overboard one way or other. Policies have to be in place and adhered to. Women cannot misuse these either. I mean, as a woman, I would be work, be work very hard on another woman who misused it. Uh, we have zero tolerance in our organization for uh, anything that border, borders on sexual harassment. Uh, so it can be verbal, it could be emails, it could be uh, you know, an attempt to meet, uh, a persistent attempts to meet. I mean, you know, young people will meet and should meet and do what they think is right. But when it borders on uh, anything like stalking or and uh, harassment, uh, women must come forward to ensure that they have the protection uh, that is uh, their due.